The Wild West of scooters coming to an end in San Diego tonight. Strict new rules approved to prevent crashes like these from happening. 10 News reporter Travis Rice is at the Embarcadero where part of that plan includes reducing speeds. Yes, the city says the short of it, they want to curb bad behavior with scooters and in high traffic areas like the Embarcadero, you won't even be able to ride one. The future is scooters or at least more regulation of them. San Diego City Council unanimously approved a batch of new rules Tuesday. They make a lot of sense. They include dropping the speed limit from 15 to 8 on the boardwalk and 3 miles an hour in high traffic areas. Designated scooter corrals so they don't congest sidewalks. Companies would also be required to pay a permit fee of just over $5,000 every six months, plus an annual $150 per device fee. A spokesperson from Lyme says those fees will not be passed on to the riders. We pay fees in a number of other cities. It's not unique to San Diego. We're not making any changes tomorrow over this. Those claimers for the ban of the dockless vehicles say the regulations are about time. The good news is they're, they're going to add to it and hopefully come back in six months and make it a complete ban. That is my dream. A total ban of the vehicles in certain areas appears imminent. I think we have a lot of work to do. Council member Barbara Bree supports a ban at the boardwalk in Mission Beach and PV. She expects the final measure once council has gathered more data to address that and the police's ability to enforce the scooter laws when they're broken. Today we were told that PD is going to get a grant to pay for enforcement and that we're, the police are going to get overtime when they do the enforcement and I'm this is very troubling to me. The city attorney says they will bring up a cleanup amendment when they address the speed of the scooters at the Mission Beach boardwalk when the new rules go into effect July 1st. At the Embarcadero, Travis Rice, 10 News.